Paul's Play 7360 today and welcome to another quick car review. So today we're going to be taking a look at the 2013 release of Ren and Rig. So I did not pick this up because I like the car, I just got it because, you know, I like racing and it's an interesting casting and it is actually on a demolished card if you haven't worked out yet. Pick this up from at Myers for $2. Um, I find that Myers have quite a few demolished carded 2013, 2011, 2014 cars. I'm not sure why, but they are usually pretty bad condition. Pick this up because I love race team and I do not have too many white race teams. And also it's kind of a nice or interesting casting. Let's get into cracking this. Um, this is a reasonably old car. This is the oldest cracking I've done on this channel. Um, so that's pretty cool, I guess. This is a very strange casting. So it kind of reminds me of semi-fast or semi-fast, however you want to pronounce it, but more the futuristic looked version. So it has the Hot Wheels tempo and a number one on the side. Usually race team do have a number on the side, but it does not correspond to anything. Now it's got the chrome engine with some nice details, which is very surprising. But an annoying thing is it is also the piece for the interior, so it is unrealistic. And um, I don't think that would bother many people because the car is unrealistic enough. So there's not really many details on the car apart from that. If you want to look in the cab, you can't really see because it is chromed. You've got these two spots where I guess they would be headlights. And you've got some red metallic lined wheels. Alright, it seems like my turntable is making some strange sounds, so just ignore that. Now, I do not know much about the 2013 lineup, but luckily I do own this 2013 complex collect and complete lineup book so if I just quickly find it in here so here we go now as you can see you've got um, a Mustang there let me just focus this you've got the 13 for Mustang tarmac attack I gave that away in a ROK package to the car lab but in blue and here you've got Ren and Rig now ours is a white Ren and Rig um, so yeah, they might have released this one a bit later, but like the Tarmac Attack, I traded a blue one, so that one might be released a bit later, um, because I do know this book isn't really the whole 2013 series, I think it's only A to D case, correct me if I'm wrong, so yeah. So on the base, it just simply has its name, Ren and Rig, and it does say copyright 2010 Mattel, so this is probably a... a 2011 first release. I am not 100% sure. I have also seen that there is a 2014 release with some glow wheels that looks actually kind of nice. And if you... So I'm very curious to see how this does on the track. So let's test it out. Came up with a new rule and it is if you make it the first time the whole way then you have succeeded the whole track. So let's give Ren and Rig a shot. Ready? Set, go. Oh, so close. I am actually very surprised with that attempt. A okay, second attempt for Ren and Re. Ready, set, go. I think I need to fix up my track just a little bit. It's a bit wonky. Oh, oh, I think we can count that. I think we can count that. He's, he's tried so many times. Yeah, he is a track star. Congratulations, Ren and Rig. I think I'll be giving this one a 8 out of 10 just because of its pure strangeness. And it actually can perform well on track. I would say is a track star. And I believe it actually did say track star on the package. I cannot find that package now at the moment though. And the race team just makes it that bit cooler. So anyway, check out my channel for more content like this. Like and subscribe. Bye for now.